Okay, so I am excited today. Why? Today is Christmas. Christmas in October. My buddy Frankenstein Speed Custom has my tracks, and the tracks just arrived today, and I'm on my way to go see them. So it's gonna be awesome. He sent me a picture, and just wait till you see these. These are gonna, these are gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm at Frankenstein Speed Custom. My track Jeep has begun. Ruby Track sent these out to me. It took about three weeks to make. They are 15 inches wide, just under five feet in length. So lots of, lots of platform there. Super excited. It's gonna bring snow wheeling to a completely new level. And we have some big plans, myself and Kyle from High Ground by Nightfall are gonna head out. We have some plans. He's also bought a set of tracks with me. And we are pretty ecstatic. Can't wait. So this is the track Jeep. I did, cannot express how excited I am in order to get these on the Jeep and hit the trails in the snow, some deep snow, and get out where nobody else can go and just explore chill out, do some camping. It's just gonna be awesome. So what do you think of the track Jeep, Jill? What about you? No. No, big. Hey Cam, what do you think? I, I need it. You need this in your life too? I need it. You can take my spot to pass your seat. <laughs> no, you're gonna go. This is why we have it. This is gonna be fun. One thing I did do is add something to the taser. I upgraded it. This allows me to run four wheel drive, with four high, with the lockers, both front and rear, or just the rear. Just as if, if it would be in four wheel drive. For long. I am at Frankenstein Speed Custom and I'm here with Adam. We're going to install the snow tracks that you see right to the right of me. And I am ecstatic to get this going. Coming along, we got one mounted, and the initial setup is probably going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a day. But once the limiting straps and all that sort of thing is hooked up, then we should be fine. It's just a matter of just putting them on the trailhead. So you can tell the difference between the 37-inch tire and the track. Significant difference. And originally we thought it was going to be about four inches higher than the 37, but it's going to be closer to six inches higher than what it currently is. I'm on a three and a half inch lift, so another almost six inches on top of that.
So it's nice having friends with shops because we're doing the initial install right now. And I've got Adam here helping me out. I really appreciate that. And I've got uh, Lyle showing up right now. I think he's might want to get a set of tracks too. Maybe? <laughs> there might be an addiction here. Uh, you can probably turn just a tad. Lock the room over here. Here we are, folks. The track jeep. Where's the snow at? Right now we're adding our brackets. Which brackets are we going with here? We're going off the uh, lower air control arm? Yeah. So now I've got the chains that go on here. We call them limiting straps, but they're actually called, well they're called limiting straps, but we uh, use as, as chains. So we're gonna put this eye hook into this one, which is mounted on the bottom of the ball joint, and one goes right here. And we got one on the back side. One goes on that back side to that one. That way, that way we don't have to worry. Once Adam's done making a noise, that way we don't have to worry about these flipping into each other. So right now we're doing the limiting straps. We're just trying to make sure that everything is copacetic. We get all the brackets on, and we're seeing how far. They will go when we're on the trail. So far, they look pretty good. We got the front done. We're going to just do the back now. Okay, so we have the limiting straps on there right now, or they call them straps, but they're actually chains. The brackets are on. And now we're just seeing what we have as far as pivoting movement for the trail. We got to start somewhere. This is where we're going to start. So we figured out a way how to put these chains on, and they're all set up. And then when, when we take the tracks off, this is how I'm gonna mount them. Just keep them on the side so we don't forget what, what goes where. So normally I wouldn't jack up the Jeep from one side to the next. I would do it from front to back. But to show you the difference in how high it is from a 37 inch tire versus the track is astronomical. So I'm gonna show you from the back as well. Huge difference. Not to mention that you can go a lot farther in tracks with tracks on. Track Jeep coming soon. Let's go snow. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you find it informative. I'm pretty excited and I hope you are too. You'll see these tracks in action pretty soon when the snow hits. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.